What's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Madison Hill and yes, it's time for another pop off with Madison. For today's pop off you guys, we're going to be talking about Justin and Hailey Bieber because there are now several contradicting reports regarding the status of their marriage and unfortunately it's getting to the point that we need to discuss. Also, I just realized I forgot to put on my lip mask. It's killing me and since I'm bringing it up, I'm just going to show you guys. Obviously, I'm Laneige lip mask girly. I'm obsessed with this stuff. As you guys know, I have dry skin. So this is key. Figured I'd just share. Okay, bye. Better. Anyway, you guys, back to these Biebers. So you guys know that there have been rumors now for a while that the Biebers are having these ups and downs in their marriage and that they're having marital issues. And normally these rumors tend to fizzle out, but right now they are not fizzling. If anything, they are just amping up. And we now have several new contradicting reports that I want to talk about. We have one report out here claiming that Justin and Haley are fighting over old love, Justin's behavior, and having kids. This source in this report even went as far as to say that their friends are surprised they've lasted this long. Then we're we're going to discuss this other contradicting report where a source is sharing that, you know, Justin and Haley have gone through growing pains, but they're doing fine now. And then there's also this other report that I want to fill you guys in on that's giving us the tea on the real reason why Justin Bieber did not perform with Usher at the Super Bowl halftime. And the reason why I want to share this report with you guys is because some of the details I think go to show some of Haley's possible frustrations that she's experiencing with Justin Bieber. Again, these are just reports that are out there. I feel like it's getting messy. That is why I wanted to sit down and discuss and sift through them all together. But first, because you guys know this is the first pop-up of the week, you know I have to check in and see how the House of Hill is doing. So let me know how you are, what you've been up to, all of that good stuff down below. Me personally, as you guys can see, I'm finally back in LA. It feels good to be back in a routine. I did pick up a little bit of a cold, but I feel like I'm on the mend. So fingers crossed because I'm really looking forward to getting back into my routine and finally tackling a lot of those goals that I had for 2024. You guys know that I've been saying that 2024 is the year of the House of Hill and I still don't doubt that for one second. So I'm really happy to be back, getting back into the swing of things and doing more fun things with you guys. But enough about me because I know you straight to the T people are like, Madison, what the heck is going on with Biebers? You said that the rumors of their marital troubles are not slowing down and you're not wrong. So go ahead and put this time code down there in the comments to help out your fellow straight to the T people. And now let's get to unwrapping these Justin and Haley Bieber facts. Okay, so as you all know, Justin and Haley Bieber have been married for a little over five years now. They just celebrated their five-year wedding anniversary in September of last year. And unfortunately, several times throughout their relationship and marriage, there have been rumors that these two have had trouble in paradise. This has happened on and off for basically the entirety of their relationship and marriage. And unfortunately, right now for Justin and Haley, these rumors of marital issues are once again on. They have been on for about a month now, and it doesn't appear as though they're going away. So the most recent rumors of marital troubles between Justin and Haley started about a month ago. Fans noticed that Justin and Haley did not include one another in their New Year's Instagram posts. They were also seen out in LA looking less than thrilled to be with one another. And although Haley posted a sassy TikTok kind of clapping back at these rumors, and Justin also posted several photos from a recent date night, it has not been enough to stop fans from thinking that something is going on behind closed doors with Justin and Haley. And in fact, like I said at the beginning of this video, we're just getting more conflicting reports as to what could possibly be going on. So first up, we have this tea-filled report from In Touch Weekly, you guys. And in this report, a source shared that Justin is, quote, clingy and he relies on Haley for his emotional and psychological well-being. The insider continued saying, quote, there are times Haley just wants to end it so she can be on her own again. Apparently, these two have been fighting over past relationships and behavior and when to have kids. And the source said, quote, they've had a lot of ups and downs. Friends are surprised they've lasted this long. Now, as far as more specific tea when it comes to these alleged fights that Justin and Haley are having. When it comes to Justin's behavior, this source noted how Haley has grown into a quote, strong individual. Meanwhile, Justin has quote, been babied his whole life. Haley apparently sees him as a quote, immature kid sometimes. This source then went on to explain that with Justin's health struggles, he's relied on Haley to quote, bolster him up whenever he needed it, which was most of the time. At one point, Haley reportedly recognized how quote, one-sided the relationship was. Now, as far as those alleged fights about previous relationships, the source explained that Haley doesn't like to be reminded of Justin's past and that, quote, it's a touchy subject that sometimes rears its ugly head during arguments. Now, as I mentioned, they're also allegedly on different pages when it comes to having a family of their own. This insider claims that Justin is ready to be a dad, but, quote, Haley isn't sure Justin has the maturity to deal with parenthood just yet, and she doesn't want to be left doing all of the work because he's too immature.
temperature. Now, while this is not the best news in this In Touch Weekly report, you guys, I do want to make it clear that this source ended their insider info saying that Haley is not ready to throw in the towel yet because she's, quote, not a quitter and she's willing to put in the effort. Friends are reportedly hoping that Justin can get it together before it's too late because he, quote, can't imagine his life without Haley. I know that report was kind of a lot of information to take in, but that brings us to our next report that I want to discuss. This is a recent report coming from Us Magazine, and you'll get the sense that it's definitely trying to combat some things that were discussed in that In Touch Weekly report. So in this Us Magazine report, a source said that Justin and Haley were, quote, having growing pains in the beginning of their relationship, but they're, quote, in a good place now. The source noted that the two have built a strong foundation on their faith and that quality time is essential when it comes to their relationship. And in my opinion, because that Us Magazine report was not enough to kill any rumors of marital issues between Justin and Haley, we went ahead and got this other recent report from Entertainment Tonight, which I briefly filled you in on last week during a mini pop-off. But essentially, you guys, this Entertainment Tonight report goes into detail about how the Beavers are doing well, how Justin feels comfortable, safe, and secure with Haley at home, and how Haley is extremely supportive and encouraging of Justin, and quote, vice versa, aka Justin does the same for her, but not a lot of details on how Justin is doing the same for her. This insider then also went into detail about how communication is key for these two. So communication, quality time, and their faith, and how they're committed to sharing their feelings openly. And of course, the source also mentioned that both Justin and Haley are excited for their future as husband and wife and to have a family one day. So while these reports, yes, are contradicting one another, they also are all kind of still saying the same things. They're talking about how Haley is such a supportive wife of Justin, how Justin needs Haley, and how although they've had their issues, they're working on it and they want to have a family one day. Now, while it sounds like Justin and Haley's definition of one day is different, I'm going to keep going and fill you in on this other new report from the Daily Mail that's giving us the tea on the real reason as to why Justin Bieber did not perform with Usher at the Super Bowl halftime. Again, keep in mind, I'm sharing this with you because again, it's giving some insight into Justin's state of mind, which I think might be contributing to him and Haley's relationship. So the source went into detail about how Justin has had issues in the past with touring, whether it's on his physical or mental health. He's lost interest in going on a major tour. Justin is reportedly maybe, the source said maybe, recording some music, but quote, he is a bit of a homebody. Apparently big performances just don't fit him right now and it's not something that quote, drives him at all. Now in my opinion, if Justin has lost interest in something he used to be passionate about, I can understand how that would take a toll on Haley and their relationship and here I am already popping off. So clearly you guys know I have a lot of thoughts on all of these reports. So let's go ahead and make this pop off official and get to that shambong. And if you couldn't tell, I have not been to the store really since being home except for some essentials. So we got this cute little baby bottle of Prosecco. Let's see if it'll even pop. Oh, I think it's twist. <laughs> it's twist, that's okay. It's fine. Okay, so let me first start off by making one thing crystal clear for people who are going to find this video and want to comment something negative. I would never in a million years wish for anyone to get divorced. That is not me. However, these rumors are not going away. These rumors are still in the press. I'm getting messages asking my thoughts on these reports. So that is why I am sitting down and doing this pop-off. I needed to sift through these reports with the House of Hill and that is the only reason why I am doing this, not because of any personal feelings towards the Biebers at all. If anything, I hope that they stay married. Again, I would never, ever, ever wish for anyone's marriage to end. Now, having said that, as far as what I think is actually going on with Justin and Haley, you guys know I'm all about consistency. I say it all the time. I have to look at what we are consistently hearing. And when you look at these reports, although they are a tad bit contradictory, I think the one consistent thing we hear is is how Haley is supporting Justin, how Haley is a safe space for Justin, how Haley is a rock for Justin. And whenever we hear about how Justin's being there for Haley, we always hear something very simple, a quote, vice versa, or Justin's doing the same. We never really hear any details as to how Justin is being there for Haley. And in my opinion, after a while, I could see how that would be frustrating for Haley. I'm not saying that I don't believe Justin is being there for Haley. I'm not saying that I don't think 
think Justin is a supportive husband of Haley. I'm just saying I think it's odd that we always hear these great details about how Haley is being there for Justin and we don't hear great details about how Justin is being there for Haley. I'm just pointing out that that is a little interesting to me because if I'm in a relationship where I'm constantly the rock, I'm constantly the one who's holding us together, I'm constantly the one who is being your emotional support, after a while, I'm gonna wanna be the weak one. I'm gonna wanna be the one who needs support. I'm gonna be the one who wants to lean on someone. I think that's only natural. Now, am I saying that this is such a big deal that it could tear Justin and Haley apart and that it could lead to the inevitable big D that everybody keeps talking about? I don't know, probably not. I'm just saying at the very least, I could see that Haley would have some frustrations with Justin. And I think we're seeing a little bit of those frustrations, you know, with Haley not posting him in her New Year's post, with her not including him in her Valentine's Day post. Yes, I know she posted him on her story, but he wasn't in the grid post. You know, those little things I think are alarming people because it is so different from how Haley has posted and talked about her relationship on social media in the past. And I know some of you might be thinking, Madison, it's so silly to place that much weight on Instagram posts. But you guys know, I always say, I think celebrities are very strategic with their social media and they're very smart. And a lot of times I think celebrities use their social media to share how they're really feeling when they can't fully come out and say it in their own words. So that's why in my opinion, when you take into account these continuous reports about their marriage, you know, the good and the bad, the fact that we're still getting all of these reports about the status of their relationship and marriage. And you look at Haley's recent social media activity. You look at how they looked at the Super Bowl and how they've looked together in recent outings. You can start to see why people are thinking something is up, why I'm starting to think that something is up. But do I think these two are going to be torn apart? No. I'm sure at their core of their relationship, they are going to be okay if they continue to communicate, focus on their faith, and focus on quality time. At the core of their relationship, it will survive. But I do believe that they have had a lot of ups and downs about Justin's behavior and kids. We have heard consistently about how Justin Bieber is ready to be a dad. He wants to be a young dad. He wants a big family. And consistently we've heard Haley isn't quite there yet. Again, if she really does want a family one day, then obviously this kid's conversation is not going to break them. But I'm just saying I could see how these discussions and this behavior and these ups and downs could cause some superficial cracks. Again, at their core, I think they are okay. So moving forward, when it comes to the Biebers, I think we need to remember a few things. They did get married very young. Justin has needed a lot of support from Haley when it comes to his mental and physical health. It makes sense to me that all of those factors could cause a lot of ups and downs for them in their marriage. But if what we're hearing is true and that Haley is not a quitter and she wants to continue putting in the work in this marriage and that Justin does not want to lose Haley, then they of course will work through these ups and downs. They will work through this alleged rough patch that people think they're going through. I think they're not going anywhere. I think they're fine, but obviously you guys, if we get any more updates, any new reports, or we hear of something else happening, you know I will be sitting right here to fill you in. All right, you guys, that is the latest I have for you on Justin and Haley Bieber. I wanna hear all of your thoughts and feels down below. While you guys are at it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell. For more content, make sure you guys follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. And of course, don't forget to keep coming back here to check out my YouTube shorts. If you guys wanna show me a little extra love or you just wanna make sure I see your comment, don't forget you can also hit that super thanks button down below. Also, you guys, don't forget to tune in to tomorrow's live happy hour hang at 3.30 Pacific Standard Time. You guys can also check out all of my merch over at my merch store at houseofhill.com. And on that note, you guys, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.